I'm at a really, really extreme point in my what energy conscious journey where I might be, I might sound a little bit aggressive in my videos, but welcome back to another video. My name is Lunar Was Lost. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful week, wonderful month, whatever it may be. Don't let what's going on in the world affect you because the real world is inside you and the world outside of you is a reflection of what's inner on all your beliefs and everything like that so in this video i wanted to actually talk about <laughs> the title of the video is probably she said i was the calmest aries or ever whatever it may be and that's what i really wanted to talk about is yeah recently i had a friend and it's not like I, i'm like definitely clickbaiting the title nah but a little bit but she said i'm like the calmest aries she's known or one of the calmer ones I think it was one of like the calmest because yeah, like I keep saying is this whole, the whole point to getting into astrology, that's like the first of breadcrumbs. So that's fine. When you start learning about it, it's cool. And when you start learning about like the different houses and stuff, that's where it starts getting a little bit deeper and like the reason for things. But one thing I love to push because I knew this as a kid and funny enough before, like I really started, um, I'm just clicking around. I need to stop. <laughs> Before um, the programming started with, you know, where everybody goes through where you, you know, you come here, you're a fresh slate, and then the program gets you, which is school and everything else and parents' beliefs and all this trauma and yada, yada. The one thing I knew is that everything here is belief and what you choose to believe. Like everything's like attached to belief. There's much more aspects to it, but I know one of the biggest things is what you believe and what you tell yourself create your reality. And that's where I feel like astrology goes to haywire. So a lot of girls always are shocked. Oh, you're an Aries? Oh, and some of them go, oh, you're an Aries. I can tell, but they don't tell off of my personality. They almost tell off of the things I talk about, which I feel like then that is a deeper aspect of how they can tell I'm an Aries. But sometimes some people like i've been called capricorn scorpio bunch of shit and i even tell some people no listen don't then you know it's it's not it doesn't matter what sign someone is i would say like you know i'm gonna be a bit honest and say what i say here but i honestly think the people who are directly like their signs are the bot type of research done on those types of people because if you know about astrology and how deep it gets you're trying to be like all of the signs to get to the 13th sign which is the christios i mentioned this before in another video i think talking about astrology but the point is is you're trying to be all the signs so just like people can't really read what kind of sign i am which if you want to know i'm an aries uh, sun aquarius ascendant and then leo moon and then you got the virgo and all that stuff like the virgo in whatever I don't know if I actually have a Virgo in my house. I just can't remember. But the point is, is that I flow between all of them. You can't really tell what I am because you can't describe me. I'm indescribable by anything that is defined here. Like this stuff helps you get to the point where you realize that you're a fucking God. Nothing can really define each and every God that's here. But astrology is definitely the start. So that's what I would just like to say about that stuff. And, you know. And the reason people can't really tell the sign I am is literally because you're not tied to the sign. And, I, and I've been like that my entire life. I've been really chill, laid back. You really can't tell I'm an Aries. But um, I would say more, though, Aries side more comes out through anger or trying to defend people. Then you'll see more of it. But rarely, rarely, because, you know, some people don't even think I'm, like, even aggressive. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the thing I think is funny is you know aries are really hot-headed you know you know shit like that really want shit their way won't listen to anything you know the regular stereotypes of an aries or whatever the fuck they are you know i really i just i don't identify with them so much now that you know they've left my reality but i definitely think astrology is cool and can help you and can help a lot of people find different things that may uh, j jolt them forward so I'm not knocking astrology at all never but just when I got deep enough and I was at also at the point where I knew a lot about the house stuff I just realized that eh, I, I don't really need to apply this to my life because it's just I don't know I don't know if I got past the point seeing the truth but every time I, I you know 
always continue to seek truth it just seems like it becomes clearer and clearer that it's just all depending on what you believe you know but i see a lot of people get really toxic with astrology and that's why you know i like speaking out about it but what is really to even speak about out about anything it doesn't really matter it you know some people could see it as it's offending me and it's really not you know i'm just doing it for people to not cut their cut their um experience is short because you experience everything you put yourself through so like if you're out here really not talking to certain people because of their signs well then you're doing yourself dirty you see what i'm saying you're doing yourself a disservice to just be like okay this is a capricorn i don't want to fuck with you because you're a capricorn it's like well now if that person was a great person even though capricorns are real motherfuckers let me tell you but you would just cut out that experience. You wouldn't even get that. What if they had a key for you? You would never know. I guess in a way, if you believe in that everything works out how it's supposed to and you're being polarizing, I guess the key will come in another way. But I guess my point is just if you don't open yourself up to experiences, you won't really truly f find like the knowledge. But I mean, the signs are everywhere. So, you know, the the knowledge you're seeking or the signs you're seeking you know if you don't stay open to experience and how these signs can come i feel like the the tunnel vision on how it works will really 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 negate a lot of the experience did that make any sense okay let me say it lower because i'd be going all over the place with the words that i'm trying to make it sound, make sense in my head because i've never been the greatest teacher of things even dance when people ask me to teach dance i can't really but let me word it like this is if you if you hold back on talking to someone because hey they're a leo or something like that and you've heard leos are crazy for attention and shit like that well then imagine if this leo you weren't you, you say you asked a question like um how am i going to achieve this in my life uh spirits i need a sign uh my higher self that i need you to smack me in the face or something and this Leo came out of nowhere. You're like, whoa, this person I met is amazing. Came out of nowhere. But, oh, they're a Leo. What the fuck? I don't know. And they're a Leo like my ex. And you're like, you're like saying all these things and setting all this intention beforehand where you're just fucking up a sign that was trying to come to you. And you, you all know that the universe source, whatever you believe in, will fucking deliver that shit as a punch to your face. If you like, you know, start not being open to accepting this shit and letting go. But say you just turn that Leo down and you don't even know if that Leo was, you know, love is the easiest to talk about. I'm not even going to lie. So, and I have so many love stories. So, but example is like you kicked the Leo at your life and you didn't even know that that Leo could have been like this three year good relationship that maybe y'all still broke up, whatever, that's fine. But you never even known that this person was going to give you a, a whole nother outlook and point of view of life. You never knew, but just casted them aside because you called them a leo that's the toxic astrology type of shit i see go down and that's why i like to just mention it sometimes but am i at all offended by it no because none of the girls i attract in my life instantly judge me off of my astrology you know why because my uh, beliefs and according to all my beliefs create my reality so i never find girls that are toxic with astrology and the reason a lot of people do and find other people, well, because you attract what you attract. So, yeah, but um, when the general general, I, I'm, I'm going to say, I don't know, really, there there obviously has to be a collective consciousness. But that shit is so cloudy to me that I don't even really reference it. But because of the I'm going to say the collective consciousness is society. How I've seen it um portrayed in persona five and everything like that it's just the overall beliefs or over overall beliefs of everybody so i'm gonna say because dudes really keep thinking astrology is so toxic and girls just think dudes have no idea what they're talking about when denying it they create the reality that pushes dudes like us out who actually know it and the guys just make keep making it's like it just keeps it's just like even like it's just like a snake that's eating its own tail. It's just there's no winning. Humanity is just so fucking perception and just like this is why it's just do your own thing, believe your own thing, and trust me, truth will find you. If you're watching this video right here, this is an, this is an example of the true middle ground, the the you finding you to tell you this. It's really to tell you that astrology, your sign doesn't really matter. 
if someone's really going to judge you off your sign, then that should just show you a thing about their character, not about what any of this knowledge is. It's just to show you about what they believe. And remember, you attract with what you attract, what you are and what you feel like you deserve. So if you feel like that, if that person comes around, you're like, and it's, it's multiple of them. And you're like, why do I keep getting people like this? Start changing your beliefs on the astrology thing. Cause me, I knew every girl wasn't like that, or I would attract girls that were like that if I believe that, but I don't believe that. But I see a lot of it on social media because that's where everybody invests their attention to. So then, you know, the derpy, the derpy slow shit tends to breed. And that's your that's your reality where you get this fucking toxic astrology fucking shit going on. But I don't even care. I just tend to ignore it so I don't see it much, but I used to see it all the fucking time. So I guess I wanted to make it a video on it. But yeah, truly, you can't define me. That's why a lot of people can't tell I'm an Aries because I don't identify with being whatever sign I am. Like when it comes to when the question comes up, I'm like, yeah, I say what I am, but I just believe I'm much more than that. And that plays out. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.